In mid-June this year, National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich announced new tax measures which private businesses were analyzing to establish whether to absorb or pass on to customers. Now in the third quarter is a bit of weakness and we've seen that the average is now at around 53 in the third quarter from that 55.6 in the second quarter, suggesting to us that there are some underlying concerns that were brewing within the Kenyan private sector. Some of the tax measures such as the VAT and petrol Australian products, 20% excess duty on financial services and a 1.5% salary deduction for the National Housing Development Fund. According to the latest market stand big bank Kenya purchasing managers index, this had a negative impact on the last quarter. I think the market was gen generally very concerned about this since the beginning of July when they were initially announced in the budget. The private sector was trying to get their head around what this would mean for their business, whether they could uh, easily increase output prices and whether they could more importantly pass this on to the private sector. This notwithstanding, Stanbic Bank has revised up its economic projection for Kenya this year. Vibrancy and the diversity in the Kenyan economy cannot be discounted. And we at Stanbic Bank have actually now revised our full year 20, 2018 GDP growth estimate to 5.8% from a previous 5.6%. Operating conditions in the private sector slowed to their lowest in 10 months, with the Purchasing Managers Index posting a reading of 52.7 in September, down from 54.6 in the previous months. Readings above 50.0 signal an improvement in business conditions on the previous month, while readings below the 50.0 show deterioration. Despite this, the report indicates that private sector firms continued to hire additional staff in the month of September due to rising output requirements.